I know, I know, I said doorbells were going to be net. But doing my research on the doorbells, I realized that home monitoring was something too important that we couldn't take the time and specifically talk about. It would have been a huge part of my doorbell video. So I wanted to create a separate video talking specifically about doorbells and separating out which companies offer smart security products with home monitoring that you can opt in or opt out of for a price. Let's find out if home monitoring is worth it for you. As I said, I know in my last video, we were gonna be talking about smart doorbells. I had a great comment that came up and mentioned that he wanted to know which options were out there that didn't offer a subscription service. So I wanted to take a moment and go and dive into some of those companies right now and talk about their home monitoring and tell you what companies offer it with devices where you do have the option to choose if you would like to purchase it or not. If you don't know what's happening right now, go ahead, take a moment and watch all of my previous videos on smart security. Take a moment, go all the way back to the very beginning and learn the basics of a smart home so you can understand how to integrate a smart home security system into your everyday smart home. So Ian, what exactly is home monitoring? Simply, home monitoring is when you have a company monitor the different devices in your home that are aligned with your smart security. There's really two different ones they're going to be looking at. It's whether your alarm system is triggered or if you have smoke alarms that are going off in your home. For instance, if your smoke alarms go off for a certain amount of time, then you're going to be getting a notification on your touch panel or you're going to be getting a call from your monitoring company wanting to know if you need the fire department to respond to your home. If you don't respond spawn in an appropriate amount of time, they're automatically going to send that emergency service to your home. The other case might be if the alarm on your home is tripped and you're not able to let them know it was a false alarm and that it was you that accidentally tripped it. Generally, you're going to have a delayed time from when the alarm trips to the time you can turn it off. And in that window of time, they're not going to notify the police. But if you go longer than that time frame, then they're gonna notify the police. The other option that you do have available is for medical services. So if you have one of the little, almost like uh, if, if you remember it, the uh, life alert buttons, you can get some home monitoring systems that have the life alert little tag around your neck and you could press it and it's a medical alarm letting you know that you need medical services to your location, in this case, your home. These services can be really awesome for some people. Others just find them to be a nuisance. They also do happen to trigger some false alarms every so often. I did have Vivint. If you watched my last video, I talked about it. I had Vivint at one point and it did happen once or twice where we had a false alarm. I think there was only one time where the police were dispatched to our home accidentally and they came knocking and I mean, everything was okay. But again, uh, it does happen where we had to tell Vivint that no, we don't need those services, it was a false alarm. There are a lot of situations I do feel home monitoring could be very important. It's honestly something I'd like to have back in my own home. The only reason why I don't have it now is because I didn't want to go with a big company like Vivint or ADT again. I wanted to build my own DIY home security system. And with doing that, I had to build out the security system so that a home monitoring system actually was needed and in place. And at this time, it's not needed in my home. Now, who exactly offers home monitoring? Well, you have your big companies like ADT or Vivint that are the big brands that are going to wrap it into all of their services that they include. Generally, they're going to come out, install your home security system for you, set you up on a monthly financing where you're paying your devices off monthly, and then they're going to charge you a separate fee for home monitoring. With their services, it's required at all times that you maintain that monthly fee, even after you've paid off their devices. And if you stop paying their fee, your devices stop working. So you're not only paying the fee for their their services, but you're also paying the fee for their devices to work, which to me is not okay because I bought those devices. They're mine. They should still work even if I'm not paying you. I did want to go and check and see how much it would cost for you to sign up for their services again. But of course, to my surprise, they didn't even give me the option to see what it would cost because they want to come out and do some pre special quote thing uh, and kind of wrap you into all of their things and tell you how great they are and then slap you with the big cost. And you're going to be a little bit more okay with it because you 
you've sunk time into learning about their services ahead of time. So just know you really can't find out how much it's going to cost without them coming out and building out a package for you. ADT works the same way as Vivint. There's some others out there, uh, but those are really the two big brands that most people are looking at right now. There are two other brands out there that I really like because they offered you the ability to purchase their devices and use them because you've paid for them. They're yours. You own them now. But they also had the option that if you would like to add on as an additional service, home monitoring that you could. The first brand that I looked at was Arlo. Arlo offered some really awesome things. Most of these home monitoring plans are going to start around the $100 to $120 a month for a year cost. Sometimes you can pay a yearly fee and get a small discount, but most of them started at $9.99 per month. They offered your 24-7 home monitoring. They covered the things that we've already talked about. Arlo had the option to purchase their devices and opt in. What was really cool was they also had an option that you could pay a higher cost and essentially finance the devices wrapped directly into that cost. And they offered certain devices included in that. It was a pretty cool way to be able to get more devices and get more of your home security system built out up front without having to pay the hefty price all out at once. It was all through a monthly subscription. The other company, the company that I love that I've been going with is Eufy, which is really funny because Eufy is a company that's actually owned by Anchor and Anchor is owned by Amazon. And I hate Ring. Ring is also owned by Amazon and Ring is one I would never encourage you to go towards. So don't even bother looking at Ring. You can't even use a lot of their services now without paying the monthly fee. It used to be free and then it was an add-on like these other ones are, but now it's an all included, you have to pay the fee. Going back to Eufy though, Eufy offers the ability to purchase their devices. They're yours, you own them, and you can do what you want with them. And then for an additional fee, start at $4.99 a month, or you can go up to $9.99 a month or $100 up front, and you get the 24-7 home monitoring services. This is probably the route that I'm going to go just because I have some of their cameras already. I absolutely love them. I love the control. I love the quality that they offer. And they're going to be one of the doorbells that we dive further into next week. I promise next week we're going going to do doorbells. So to roll that back, there's two companies that I have found that I enjoyed their services and what they had to offer. That was Arlo and Eufy. Now I talked about Cove and Simply Safe in my last video. I pulled up Cove and was trying to find out how much it cost for them to do home monitoring. And then I realized that they sell Eufy devices. So you could really skip Cove and just jump right into going to Eufy directly. The only benefit to going through Cove is they had a really fancy touchscreen panel that you could put on your wall that was kind of fancy. Uh, there are other ways you can DIY this yourself with like an, with a smart tablet of sorts. You can get a cheapo $100 tablet, put it on the wall, log into your smart security system, and boom, you've got the panel on the wall. It's the same thing. The other one was Simply Safe. And actually, they were one of the most expensive. They had an option at 33 cents a day or a dollar and six cents a day, which a dollar a day is $365 right there. Now, this is not one I would probably encourage, but again, what's cool is they do offer a full blown package so you can get everything all from one company all at one time. If you wanted to go the bigger brand style route, they do offer a DIY installation or a professional installation if you so choose. Now, I know this was a rather quick video today and I'm so excited to dive further into doorbells next week but I really felt it was important that we addressed what exactly is home monitoring I really appreciate the comments as a whole and I really appreciate the comment that I got wanting to know which non-subscription doorbells were out there so I'm dropping an early hint Eufy is one of them Arlo is another go ahead and take a look at those next week we're going to be diving further into doorbells I hope you enjoyed learning exactly what home monitoring is which companies offer it as an option and which ones force you into it. Again, my name is Ian. If you enjoyed this video, take a moment and subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, or drop a comment down below. Share this with a friend who doesn't know what home monitoring is. Thank you again, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.